We shone the light on myriad topics at Six Flags Over Liberty Oaks this week. Stay tuned for all of the illuminating details. Important to upcoming dates are as follows. On Wednesday, February 12, we get to participate in elective league at Discovery Middle School. We will depart Liberty Oaks at approximately 9.15 a.m. and return at 12.15 p.m. Your child will need a sack lunch and a drink because most likely we won't get to eat in the cafeteria. We will do lunch and a movie on that day. The next day, Thursday, February 13, we will have our Valentine party. Your child will have the opportunity to make a Valentine box as well as mail Valentines. Also, your child will have the opportunity to play a fun game. The special schedule is as follows. Keep in mind in the event of a snow day, uh, the special schedule that I'm about to read will not take place. Refer to the s'more version, the printed version of Mr. McCoy's weekly log for the latest special schedule. If we don't have a snow day, on Monday, February 10, will be music. That will be day two. On Tuesday, February 11, will be PE, day three. On Wednesday, February 12, we won't have specials because of the elective league field trip that we get to participate in. And then on Thursday, February 13, we will have library, day one. Up next, the academic accomplishments. The links to what your child has access to in class can be found in the s'more version, the printed version of Mr. McCoy's weekly log in math. Our work with fractions featured multiplication of a whole number by a fraction, your child had the opportunity to weave in what we're studying in history by learning about the Newsies play golf featuring fraction problems, solving problems, St. Joseph, here we come, tied to our read aloud, a family apart, a cougar's learning quest just for you, that features our study of interactions, energy, and dynamics. We also learned about Elizabeth Cady Stanton versus Susan B. Anthony solving problems to answer the question, who will win? In science, yes, our focus is on ecosystems, interactions, energy, and dynamics. Your child had the opportunity to learn about lovable ladybug using an entomologist guy. We also had the opportunity to learn about reforestation, the impact on climate. Your child had the opportunity to do research while taking notes. We also learned the difference between monocots and dicots. Your child had the opportunity to dissect the seed. We also did a flower dissection to learn about flower reproduction. In writing, we have also moved into working on crafting research reports featuring the Civil War and westward expansion. We learned about drawing on inspiration from mentor texts, writing in a compelling way, and primary source documents. Our grammar focus was on main verbs and helping verbs. In reading, we have moved into the historical era of instructional growth and, yes, ecosystems, interactions, energy, and dynamics in science. We learned about Jack Johnson, world heavyweight champion. We also had the opportunity to compare Jack Johnson to Booker T. Washington. We learned more about cougars with a guide to analysis and Elizabeth Cady Stanton, the mother of equality for all women. In social studies, yes, our focus is on industrial growth. We learned about the labor movement, going on strike, improving conditions, labor unions, working against child labor. We also took a virtual tour of Ellis Island to learn more about immigration. Your child had the opportunity to do an interactive featuring a scavenger hunt, looking and thinking about information. A Family Apart by Joan Lowry Nixon has continued this week to access those read-alouds, visit the s'more version of Mr. McCoy's weekly log to participate in what your child gets to participate in, in class each day. This week's informational article is entitled, How to Improve Writing Skills for Kids. We work on writing skills every single day at school, and uh, writing skills can be difficult to develop. Uh, one way to help your child improve those writing skills is with writing exercises at home. Here are the suggestions that this article gives. Read up. Regular reading is a stepping stone to better writing and helps kids strengthen their writing skills. Make it fun. Play games and activities that encourage writing, such as crossword puzzles and word games. Write letters. 
Today, writing letters is a bit of a lost art. However, encourage your child to write letters to friends or family. Encourage journaling. Keeping a journal is a great way to express thoughts and ideas while also working on improving children's writing skills. Create a writing space. Set aside a little corner in your house that is completely devoted to writing. Invest time. Make sure your child knows you're available to help with spelling or proofreading whenever he or she needs it. Connect their interests. Think about your son or daughter's favorite book series, or maybe he or she is obsessed with dinosaurs. Whatever his or her interests are, connect them to writing. Create story prompts. A fun way to improve kids' creative writing skills is to have them write short stories. Cut out pictures from a magazine with different characters or locations, or write down different words. There's no better way to learn something than to see someone else doing it. Let your children see you writing often. Use technology to your advantage. There is no getting around the fact that technology plays a huge part in our lives. Use it to your advantage by having your child create a blog and make it a part of your daily routine. Make sure there's time each day to do some writing in one way or another. Whether it's writing a grocery list, writing in a journal, or composing a letter, practicing writing every day will go a long way to improving kids' writing skills. And yes, for the full text of that article, visit the S'more version, Mr. McCoy's Weekly Log. For a window into your child's adventures in Six Flags Over Liberty Oaks, please follow us on Twitter. The link can be found in the printed version of the newsletter. My goal is to tweet at least once per day, so please follow us on Twitter. Join us for our River Ride next week. That's issue number 25 of Mr. McCoy's weekly log to be delivered to you for the week ending Friday, February 14, 2020. Yes, the River Ride can be found in this video version as well as the small version of Mr. McCoy's weekly log.